you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got all the Mutt 21 U's completely unveiled. Everything you need to know about Madden 21 for the year of Madden 21 Ultimate Team is unveiled for everyone to see, guys. I have tons of screenshots, but I think they are in here. So let's start with the basics, guys. Before we do... Can we get 200 likes, guys, for the first unveiling of Man 21, the first official Man 21 video of the year? Can we get 200 likes, guys, right now? If you're loyal, smash the like button to help us out tremendously grow as a community this year if you start banging now. Make sure to subscribe, turn that on, you boys, come join the family. Let's get into it. So, first things first, guys, ability caps. Let me recap this. I watched a stream for you. Ability caps, essentially, is every single ability, which is, they, they called it uh, AP, which is, oh, ability points, ability caps. So, ability caps as a new layer to team build and allows you to customize how you want your team to perform in the field. So remember last year, you can only have three players on your team with X factors and abilities. That has changed. Essentially, this year, you have 10 total ability points. Each ability has their own point. You can have a total of 10. So that means if all the abilities you like are one point, you can put them on 10 different players. And I believe each side of the ball. Versus last year where, let's say you had a running back that had evasive and you didn't really want anything else. You had to put them all on the running back. So now this year, you could pretty much get a tight end, a running back, a wide receiver, a quarterback, a lineman, a lineman. If they're all one ability cap, as a thing, you can have a total of 10. Which is awesome because if you guys do know, it always sucked when like you're like, oh, I, the new Gronk, the new Gronk came out, and you want to put tank on him, but like, how can you take abilities off Mahomes or Tyree Kill or Saquon? Now, you can do such a thing. Also, see like Escape Artist is three ability points, so this makes it a little bit more fair that if you want to have the OP abilities, you're gonna have a not a not a well-rounded team for essentially. Versus also guys, X factors this year can only be on three players still. That's fair. X Factors will be on only three players, but you could put ten different you could put one ability on each player, that's one. Or you could put three threes at one one or one four if that's a thing. And vice versa. You guys should pretty much comprehend that. Moving on to the screenshots of this. So as you guys see right here with these screenshots, these are the abilities. So Reach Elite. Obviously they're not all named here, but you can see one AP right there. Reach Elite is a one uh, ability. One point, sorry. Tackle Supreme is two. We got goal line stuff is three and Avalanche is zero. Superstar X Factor is not costing anything, which I think is super cool, so we don't have to waste them there. This is a screenshot of your mob. Your lineup, as you guys can see right here, super, super cool. The way they have it all set up here, I do like the way the card art's looking. I do like the way they set it up, guys. The card art was not a bust, as people thought. The way they view it, when you're pretty much clicked on the card, it's going to be um, viewed with all your stuff on there. When you're not on the card, it's going to look like a full card there, which they, they pretty much said was actually more space for the card than you used to have. Next, we got Manage Superstars on Defense. So it tells you how much AP each player takes up. So you could pretty much see like, okay, he's three, he's two. That means I still have five left. Okay, I'm going to get one X factor. Then I'm going to put five on a few of the players. So 80 overall, you get one ability slot. 85 is two ability slots. 90 is three ability slots. 98 is three. And 99 is three as well. So they may have four later on. But as of now, it is three. And we're going to allow up to five abilities per player. Oh. I'm dumb. This year, it's five actually versus four. It's just you get the three tier threes because tier one and two can't get all the ones tier three can get new item layout so this is what i was talking about guys in madden 20 this was the card art in madden 21 this is the new card art and this is when it's focused versus unfocused unfocus is when you're not clicked on the card like on the auction block and it's just a side card or in your binder that's what it'll look like when you go on the card this is what it look like which will show your x factors your abilities uh your chemistries your sprint and everything else which is super cool so you'll always know what each player has at all times as well as when you're clicked off it, you get more. And what they're saying is pretty much here, you get more card space for more art than you did before. 78 versus 53%, which is cool. You can always go back and read this, guys. The link, you can probably see the hyperlink up below. If not, just look, type in Gridiron Notes. Uh, Madden 21 will show up as the first thing, but not going to read it all. It gets boring. I'd rather go over the screenshots with you guys. Your binder right here, sorted by newest. You have powered up Aaron Donald, powered up Wagner, powered up McCaffrey, powered up Zach Martin, Mahomes. And if you guys see that, it's kind of, that's a team captain right there, which you guys will see more of soon. Right there, another one. Moving on down. So here... Um, pretty much how the card will look when you click on it. You're going to see compare, promote to starter, auction, so on and so forth. When you click on the binder. And then your hist the history of the player, how you got them, who they came from. And I believe you can even check weight if you really go on to the player. Instead, you can see like weight and height, which is cool. This is one of the new solo challenge sequence, which is super cool, guys. First off, there's going to be tons of free players to be gotten in the first few days of Madden Ultimate Team. More than I think I've ever seen ever as a Madden fan. So starting off with the rival solo challenges, it's going to be one of the first things you want to do. Like last year when we had the... Uh, the Marshall Lattimore and the training solos. So these are going to be a 85 Ben Roethlisberger, 85 Zach Ertz, 85 Jalen Smith. Now, I'll show you guys stats in a second. They're probably down here. Oh, they don't show them? Okay, so 
Ben Roethlisberger, Zach Ertz, Jalen Smith. Uh, my opinion, best one is probably going to be probably Jalen, just position wise. But we will go over those stats if I do have if there are pictures down here. But guys, they are pretty cool. It's exactly like the training last year. Just remember that. Team captains. So here we go. The team captains for this year is Hedy George, Leroy Glover, Ed McCaffrey, and Aeneas Williams. Now these are called the tryout solos under rivals. Now the way this works, pretty much, guys, is going to be simple. You can play each game. You have to play each game. And you're able to try out each player. So you can try out Eddie George in a game, try out the Royal Glover, try out McCaffrey, and then try out uh, Elias Williams. Once you do that, it's, you, tell, you pretty much get a feel for who you like. And you go ahead and you pick the one you want. And remember, which is really cool this year, is you actually can go ahead again, like last year, and exchange them if you don't like them. So you can get Eddie George first and then be like, um, not feeling him. I uh, got a new running back, Derek Henry. Rather use him. Trade Eddie George to someone else, which is cool. So you can try out anyone you want. And uh, yeah. Also, there's going to be 32 players like in a pack. There's going to be like different like teams, different looks, different cams, a bunch of stuff. I, I didn't really understand some of the stuff they were saying regarding it, but there are 32 versions of each captain. They'll allow you to take a captain that can work on anything. Oh, that's what it was. Here we go. You can pick any team. It doesn't have to be a team they were on. It could be the Giants. It could be anything. So pretty much, if you're a theme team, you're in luck this, guys, this year. It's going to be pretty awesome. And then right here, it tells you there's 32 teams to choose. Very simple. NFL Epics, once again, from last year. Last year, though, NFL Epics was only Deacon Jones and Baker Mayfield. This year, it is Larry Fitzgerald, Adrian Peterson, Ronnie Lott, and Jack Youngblood. Beauty this is, you're able to pick all of them. You can have all four of them, earn each of them, which is something you were not able to do last year, which is super cool. Now, the thing is, is that you're able to have all of them, and you were able to probably trade them in for a set. If you guys didn't know from last year, there was a great method where you were able to put the cards into a set. So, you can keep the ones you want. You can put the other ones in exchange sets, possibly. They don't get rid of the uh, non-tradable aspect of them. They keep that. If we, they don't have that on there, we're fine. But I looked at some of the stats, guys. I will see if I can pull up some stats towards the end of this video for you guys. Uh, AP, Ronnie Lott, Youngblood, Fitzgerald, they were all good. You get to use all of them. And so already, that's four free players. That's uh, the level. We get the team captain, the rival player. We're looking at like five or six free players. Moving on down again, right here. So Mutt Master. Mutt Master will start at 75 overall. And you will earn it by scoring your first touchdown of Mutt. And he will slowly go up, as you know, you do the list, all the way up until 93. And then you get another plus one. And then from there on out, it goes all the way up to 99. As you get through the, you know how it goes. It goes based on, uh, there will be opportunities later in the year to keep adding plus one until each series is out. You guys already know how that works. Each series will be a new way of uh, getting them up. So get a touchdown. This is the list. You guys see right here, there's the Sam Mills, which is the Mutt Master, guys. If you don't know who that is, he played back in the 80s and 90s. He was a middle linebacker for the Saints. And it's super cool the way it works here. So I love the card art. He's going to get up to 93 overall once you get all the stuff done and then work your way up per series. Guys, he looks really good. I mean, I'm not, I don't know who he is. I didn't know who he was before. But 5'9", though, kind of short. This is what I read before. And he is a middle linebacker. So hopefully, hopefully, you know, we can play good with him. And hopefully, they keep him as one of the top linebackers. They don't go ahead and actually make some better ones like a Ray Lewis or a Bush or one of them that are faster. Then for the level master, we do have a Andre Johnson, which is super cool, guys. Andre Johnson hasn't had a good card in what feels like forever. He's going to get up to an 89 overall. Now, that is the level master. So, like Torrey Holt last year, I like that it's a wide receiver again. Makes it super simple. We're able to go ahead and play with a position that has a lot of depth. And we don't have to worry about, will we get it out? Will he be able to start? Will his stats be good enough to compete? Going to be could be second or third. Going to be a great to start the year like Torrey Holt. And, you know, guys, he's really tall. Going to be a great contested catch wide receiver, which I do like. And, yeah, the, the level up system is pretty much similar to how it was last year. And he gets up to an 89, I believe, um, once you get maximum level. Team builders, just like last year, same thing. You go ahead, you pick a team you want to do, you do that team, is one of 32, then you can choose between an 84 or defensive team builder. You have to play through a 16-game challenge sequence, and at the end, you pick a defensive or offensive player. Next, we got Team Diamonds. Team Diamonds, guys, just like they've always been, one player per team. So we got Barry Sanders as the master, so you got to do all of them. That's going to be crazy expensive, but going to be a great running back. Uh, we got Jim Covert, Takeo Spikes. I'm not going to read them all. It could take a while, guys, but there's some cool, cool names on here. I see Bob Sanders. I see Eric Weddle, Dante Hall, Frederick, Roddy White, David Deal. I see uh, Jermichael Finley, Asante Samuel, Jari Evans, um, and London Fletcher, who's a Madden OG, who I used to use back in the Madden 13 days. Same thing as usual, you got to collect items per team. This is good, though, because that should keep some team value items up in the early going, especially base elites for pack openings and stuff. And then Legends, same thing. We have nothing so far that they've confirmed, but what I do know is that one big thing that's going to be changing is there's going to be two Legends each weekend, but both those players will have limited time boss versions like they used to. So let's say there's a Ronnie Lott and a Jerry Rice. They'll be the ones you can get base, and then there's the boss ones that I believe are better and limited time, and they will match the fully powered up version of the player. So that's pretty cool, especially for video purposes. Console transition, guys. You guys already know how this works. When it does release on the new one, 
it will um you'll be able to get it i believe we'll have a follow-up blogger post your coins will carry over your training points and everything else as long as you stay on the same console this will not be done as a one-time push it'll just coexist together so it'll be like one single user server guys that's pretty much it for this some stats and yes william stats are here pause the video if you want to see these moving on to the next one we got eddie george again looking pretty solid if you don't like these you can always change them switch them out ed mccaffrey got the roy glover super good looking there all right here we got larry fitz again pause as need be we got the these are the nfl epics ones they were all gonna get all of these so fitz is okay adrian peterson looks really good with an 86 speed we got ronnie lott again super solid to have a nice lot early in the year again not gonna not gonna be upgradable not gonna move on but good for the early go and then you could always put him in an exchange set and then jack youngblood right here we got the last things is ben roethlisberger we got zach ertz and then we got jalen smith i think jalen smith's the best one with the 83 speed but i will again rank them in another video for you guys that's about it hope you guys enjoyed want to keep it nice and quick for you guys so you didn't have to sit here and listen for hours like i had to do in the stream enjoy the rest of your day guys can we get 200 likes on this madden 21 reveal video super excited guys 200 likes just hit that subscribe button turn that notification boys come join the family get to do a big thumbs up i'm out peace